Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome to the Bali class at Waco. We can learning the Dimi Pli. Dimi Pli is very important for the dancers because all the transitional step and like jump, turn, everything we have to use the Pli. So before the class, I would like to say if you like our channel, please subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of classes if you don't want to miss them. And also we would like to hear back from you any suggestions or comments. We would love to do that. And let's start. So Dim Plie uh, means ban, ban of the knee. It's very easy and simple, but hard too. They basically dance in all dance style. And it's used as a transitional step. Before, like before jump or turns, if without plie, you couldn't jump. For example, if, if I'm in first position, try to do jump, but without plie, you can be look like this, right? You can't jump, but with plie, it gives you the energy and the power to go up. It's very different. That's plie. And also, when you landing, the plie will give you help. And also will protect your knees, right? Same as the turns. Most people ask me why I couldn't turn many pirouettes, many turns. Because you didn't use the floor to push you up. Think about if you only plie like this. You don't have energy to do more. If you waste plie, you're gonna have so much energy to do, right? That's how important. <clears throat> so let's learn it about plie. So we're gonna see here. Okay, good. So we we start in fifth, uh, first position. Sorry, first position. So heels are touching together, standing tall, the same requirement. Now, when you do plie, think about the knee going to the direction same as your toes. If you're standing here, your knee has to be going same directions as your toes. But make sure you're not transferring your weight. Some people doing here, all the weight on the left or right. You have to be the, the balance have to be in center of your foot, right? Here, directly center of your foot. Here, do not do this and do, do this. That's not correct. Same direction as your toes. If you're standing here, the knees have to be doing the same thing. And then the important thing is you have to be plie straight up and down. Some people are doing like here sorry you can see my butt right it's here no keep your butt straight and not forward no straight up and down good that's plie right and you have to control some people plie boom no soft very soft same directions as your toes Imagine, um, okay, imagine like this. Imagine there's two wall, right? Two wall. This is the wall. And the other one is behind you. So there's two wall. Imagine those two wall in front of you and other one is back of, back of you. So you only can do is down and up. That's how you doing, right? Because if walls here, if you want to go forward, you're going to like, like this. No, we don't want to do that. Straight and down. Straight up and down. That's about the plie. It looks really easy. Just down, up. But it's hard. Because you have to use the turn around. You don't want your knee going forward. That's that's gonna hurt your knee, right? Like I said, same direction as your toes. 
and then don't leave. Some people doing the Timmy plie is doing like this. No, heels are on the floor, right? If you do here, that's not gonna help. When you do jump, you can't do this, right? No, you have to be down and up, right? But we are not learning the jump. Just about the plie. Use the plie. So now, the arms in first position and the one hand on the bar or whatever you're holding chairs anything here and we're gonna facing on fast but I'm gonna face inside and you guys can see me <clears throat> so plie knees to the side and feel the muscle bring them back back straight the knee very good that's about plie, but make sure you're not pooping like this, right? Keep your body straight all the time. In Bali, we we'll never do this. Do not arch your body. Down, down, and up. Very good. One more time. Down, and up. Very good. Now, same thing as the same position. Right? If you only, if you fully can only do here, that's fine. If you, if you can do 180 degrees, that's pretty cool. But remember, same, you need have to be follow the toes. Same directions as your toes. Only the me please. Good, very good. One more time. One, two. Do not lift your heels. Three, four. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Do not arch your body, right? And the ribs in. Some people are doing this. No. Keep you free. We talk about in the first first class, right? Body posture, all the body have to stand in tall. Very good. Now, now let's move on to fourth position. We don't do third position for the plie. So arm same, same arm, one arm, and another one on the bar. So plie knees to the side. Keep. Keep your balance directly in the center of your foot. Straight, very good. Up and down, do not do anything. Imagine there's two wall either side of you, right? You cannot go forward or back. Straight up and down, down and up. Keep your knee straight when you do up. Bend the knee, very good. Up. Good, good, very good. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good, let's do fifth position. Same requirement, right? The knee have to be follow the toes. If you fifth standing like this, that's fine for now. Just follow your natural turn up. Same thing, same requirement. Do not arch your body, standing tall. Down, and straight, up. Very good. One, and two, and three, and four. One more time, last time. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. First position, one heart on the bar, one, two, straight up, four times, seven, eight, good, keep your knees straight, same directions as your toes, very good, last time, and then we move to the second position. 
Second position, same requirement. Keep your body straight. Do not arch your body. Very good. Only up and down, no back and forth. Good. Use the plie. Feel the turn out also. Last time. Fourth position. Same thing. Good. Very good. Don't move your balance, right? Directly in the center of the last time. Good. Fifth position. Up and down. When you back to the Fifth position, keep your knees straight. Very good. You guys doing a great job. Last, last time. Good. One arm is on the bar. One's in first position. Keep your knees straight. Down to the side. You need to the side. Same direction as your toes. Demi plie, that's demi plie. Remember. Keep going. Very good. You guys are doing great. Keep your balance in, in, in the center. Good. Second position. Very good. Only up and down. Very good. Again. Very good. Keep going. Now move on to four spin left side. The arms just relax. Don't use the energy on the arm. Push the floor to go up. Very good. Okay. You guys doing great. Last time. And then we move to the fifth position. Good. Now let's do fifth, fifth position. Knees go side. Straight up. Keep your knees straight. Move back to straight. Do not arch the body. Keep shoulders down. The only moving is the leg. Last, last time. Almost there. All the time. Plie. Before start, plie. And you can jump high, right? Plie. And then keep doing plie. Correct. So before I start, see, I'm doing the tongue, tongue to you. We haven't learned about Tang Yu, but we will do. And I'm doing fourth position, use the plie to go up. And then you have a lot of energy to turn. Do again. See? I'm using a lot of plie to do. See? I'm using plie up all the time, plie. Plie, double tour. Plie, plie. The plie also will protect your knee and also will help you jump, right? See, I'm using the plie. Down and up, down and up, down, up, down, up. Same thing. Plie, right? Plie, plie all the time. This is how important about the plie. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys like my class. Again, if you like our channel, please subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss any classes. And we would like to hear any suggestions back from